Hey everyone, welcome to Being Classy. My name is Jessica and in this video I want to show you how to create a table of contents in Microsoft Word. So here I am within my Microsoft Word uh, project proposal that I'm creating and I'd like an easy way uh, for my readers to click through the different sections of my proposal or my report, whatever it is I'm working on. The first thing you need to do is ensure that each of your sections that you would like to include in your table of contents is marked as a header. So how you can do this um, is throughout your document, whichever section you would like to be included within your table of contents, go ahead and highlight that section title and then up on your home ribbon uh, under your styles pane, you can select heading one. Now these are pre-made styles so you can change the color and style panes. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to keep it how it is. So I'm going to highlight again every section I would like to have included in my table of contents. All right, so those are the sections and now it's time to create my table of contents. So if you'd like, you can label it um, or you can just go ahead. You need to navigate to the reference ribbon, the references ribbon. Then on the left hand side of your references, you'll notice there's a table of contents button. Click on the table of contents. You'll be asked to select from some pre-made templates. I'm going to select the classic one up at the top. And then you'll notice this is now inserted a table of contents at the beginning of my document. Now you'll notice this one already has table of contents labeled. So I'm going to delete that first one I had. And now if I click on the different sections within my document, it will take me there. Now, if you're still working on your document and adding sections uh, or changing sections, you can have already created this table of contents right up at the top. The one thing you'll want to do is select it and then on the drop down arrow on the top, you would want to update the table when you're ready to make those changes. Select update entire table and click OK. Any changes that you would have made, let's say I took off goals and I went back to home, changed it back to normal. I didn't want that part of my table of contents. You'll notice before the update, goals is still there. After the update, goals is gone. I hope this video helped you learn how to add a table of contents in Microsoft Word. If this video was helpful, please like this video, share it out with anyone else who may benefit from it, and don't forget to subscribe to Being Classy. My name is Jessica, and I will catch you in the next video.